Yeah, what's going on? I've been thinking about a whole lot of shit regarding black people. Living into some dangerous times right now. And uncertain times. We got a lot of individuals out here. And they're usually Freemasons and other coon agents. And, you know, obviously we got one big one in Tariq Nasheed. And a lot of people believe in he's some type of savior. But the guy is confused. The guy is saying, and it's not all about him today, but let's start off because he keeps saying some things that, see, when it's, when it's guys like him, you got to look at the small things that they say that they touch on here and there. Of course, he has that maroon movie, which looks like a bunch of bullshit. But yeah, he's asking for donations, but the movie's supposed to be coming out. See, that's what the keyboard musician was saying. The shit is already done. Then he asked you for money to act like he's trying to get it out. So you pay for it. And he profits uh, twofold. That's the way it works. Same thing with that hidden history museum. It was supposed to have been a museum, but he used that money to finance that streaming. And the museum was supposed to have a, a movie theater and everything was supposed to be to support his bootleg lowdown movies. Which are horrible. I did finish watching that book breaking. And that was horrible. You could tell he did, does the editing himself. All the transitions got a sound effect. Whoosh. Ooh. That's so amateurish. You don't have to have a sound effect for every transition, but that's the create the illusion of a bigger budget for dimwits and um you know he tells you everything mostly everything that you heard of already or stuff that you don't need to know but it seemed like a more pro-gay bl black men are already gay so you might as well love the gays type of shit now one thing i didn't know like that black tranny in new york i don't i know notice he keeps up the new york hate i noticed that too most black people in New York are immigrants. He shows a black tranny from the 1800s scamming people. <laughs> he doesn't even know nothing about New York. He just hates it. That's all. He's not even from L.A., so he can't even represent that. But it's a lot of hate and a lot of lies that gets repeated. Like most black people in New York are immigrants. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. There are a lot of black immigrants. There are a lot of black immigrants in Chicago. And even more so if you count the Hispanics. Shit. Miami. Wherever you could think of. But he's spreading this bullshit around. The only thing I didn't know that he had in his little buck breaking shit. Was that New York governor. <laughs> that was the training. I'm like god damn. I said, once I saw that, then I started thinking, God damn. I think that was the first New York governor. I think uh, it goes to show what I said when I, I ain't going to say it on here because that one got taken down. But when I told you about how gays maneuver in the prisons and seem to dominate the scene, Romans, Greeks, gays, serial killers, gays, they're aggressive. And they're sneaky. They got to be sneaky because they know everybody ain't with that. So either they're trying to disrupt shit or they're trying to do the old school. I'm sick. I know it. So I can't change. So I, I try to change everybody else and make them accept what I'm doing. And then they can be sick and then I, I'll, I'll appear normal. That's that old shit that a lot of mental patients do. So he had that. So that buck breaking was uh, a bunch of bullshit. None of this shit is worth buying. Horrible. Uh, this shit looked like shit from the Hidden Colors era. Early 2000s, late 90s. I mean, it's horrible. Ain't nothing but a bunch, a bunch of people talking shit. People on YouTube put together some nicer, higher quality shit than that. A lot of people on YouTube, for that matter. <laughs> That's why he has the streaming shit, because he knows nobody's buying DVDs anymore. 
Blu-rays in 4K, that's a different story. But he claims it's on Blu-ray. I ain't see Blu-ray on Amazon. Fuck a, a DVD. I still buy shit on disc because, number one, that's where you get the best quality, number one. Number two, if you want to get a full quality Blu-ray on a download, like I've been downloading some uh, 4K shit, pitch black. Uh, the Spider-Man, new Spider-Man, I ain't watched that shit yet. I ain't even watched the Eternals yet. Morbius, I don't really want. I still didn't see the Venom movies. And um, some other shit I just downloaded. Escape from New York, but not in 4K because I ain't feel like the space. That's another. That's why I buy the disc because the space. You gotta if if it's 4K, you gotta uh, and you want it full quality. You got to have like 100 gigs per movie. 50 to 100 gigs. Blu-ray, 25 to 50 gigs per movie. That will eat up hard drives with the quickness. So that's why I don't do that. And You know, I'll download movies to check out some shit that I know I'm not buying, but the sh if the shit is great, I'll buy it. So I do. Because it ain't going to get no better in quality. But anyway... Another thing Tariq Nashi does that got me. Actually, two more. <laughs> I know some people are going to be like, it's everything. Two things that are suspicious. I touched on this before. His uh, tranny love. And that goat ties into this buck breaking shit. And the secret society shit that they got to perform certain rituals to get what they got to get. He knows that he's been buck broken. That's why he made that film. What well, he wants to call the film. Uh, to pay homage. See, documentaries are cheap to make. Especially the way he does it. All he does, you if you notice, he just hires a bunch of bootleg coon agent scholars, so-called scholars, <clears throat> and YouTube uh, personalities. Pays them probably $500. <laughs> uh, to talk some bullshit. Then he shows a bunch of pictures you grab off the internet. Not knowing that some of those pictures you gotta, you know, pay royalties to. Get that shit cleared. Sometimes. Um, if you notice, that's why he hardly puts video clips. He'll put in his little uh, bootleg uh, uh, film shit to try to enhance the shit. Horrible acting. He tried to act like, remember he used to say, I go with top-notch quality, top-notch cameras. I spend nothing but the uh, money on the best. That's to make you think that he's for real. But he's pocketing most of the money. I know how people like him operate. They ain't trying to, uh, he, he operates like a cheap-ass uh, Asian and an East Indian and a small hat combined on the money. That's how he operates. But on his Twitter spaces, I noticed that I was going to play. I was going to do a uh, critique while playing it. But then I was like, man, I didn't feel like doing that shit. <laughs> but I noticed, again, he always lets white people talk. But that's the, the small thing. But when black people come on saying something serious, especially when they start talking about the small hats. All right, brother, I got to land the plane. White people, he doesn't land the plane. But he keeps talking to these trannies. And it's not that he keeps talking to the tra trannies. This is one black one that keeps calling called TS. I guess that stands for transsexual. He call, he refers to that person as a female, her, ma'am. But when the white ones call in, you can hear that he's a Negro under control. Saying, ma'am, babe, all that kind of shit. Dear, madam. I'm like, motherfucker, I know you know this is a motherfucking man. But since it's a white trainee, they get maximum respect. So that goes to show who this boy is being controlled by. Because if you were not being controlled, pimped, he wouldn't be doing that. See, white supremacy is controlling him. You don't keep, if you're a real man, you don't keep having 
Some fuck. Why are trainees calling Tariq Nasheed? That plays in with the theme that the powers that be keep doing. You know, I was just thinking about all this shit from Boy George and before him. And then watching that buck broken, I said, you know, when you think about it, the powers that be been slipping that shit in for decades. They touch on it, throw it in front of your face. But then they back away. These days, they throw it in your face and expect you to like it. I didn't read the details, but they're talking about Florida, talking about trying to ban some guns. They keep trying because they got some shit playing. I'm telling you, once somebody sets it off, that's when it's going to be a problem. But a lot of people don't like the U.S. I mean, that's why the founding fathers, as they call them, that's why they said you got the right to bear arms to take down tyrannical government because they knew that people would come in and try to take it back, especially the British. And I keep telling you, that's why you keep seeing so many British. You keep hearing them. I heard Dane Calloway had a video. He played a clip from some British guy talking about black Americans are the, the Native Americans. I'm like, here we go with another British guy. What, what the fuck is he concerned with it for? White guy, by the way. Just like Tariq Nasheed has all these British people co calling up all the time. Why are they constantly calling? What is our concern with them? We don't have anything to do with these people. All the Tariq Nasheed aligned FBA type people. And you notice how Tariq Nasheed ain't promoting FBA anymore. <laughs> Him in his Underoos uh, maroon t-shirt. That's what that shit looked like. And he knows it. That's why he's always laughing every time he's trying to sell you some shit. Because he's probably like, I can't believe how dumb people are to keep giving me some fucking money. When I keep bragging about what I got. And keep putting down people with uh, regular jobs. I mean, damn. That's why I, I almost stopped. You know, I, you know, I ain't even going to get into that. But anyway. Uh, you know, he's a part of the Coon Agency of Brainwashing Black People. Black Americans, that is. Always got to watch out for these people. Another thing that he said that piqued my interest was he repeats this ever so often. Well, matter of fact, before I even say that, he also says things like, we're indigenous to America, we have an African lineage, or African bloodline. See, what he's talking about is not what most people are talking about. He, If he's just still claiming Africa, then shit, you might as well stop it with this uh, indigenous native shit then. You can't be both. You can't be indigenous to America, but be from Africa. That doesn't work like that. Now you got to stop talking shit about Africans now. Because you now admit that you're an African, so stop the bullshit. That is the kind of triple talk I get tired of with these coon agents, but, you know, the white man promotes his coons and, uh... You know, they got to be out there. I mean, how else are they going to get the uh, brainwashing messages out? They got to promote them. They got to pay them. Told you when you investigate the JFK thing for years and years and years like I have. You learn how the CIA, FBI work, even if that wasn't what you were looking for. And you realize how they pay people. They got to pay people. And they got to make it public because they know people are going to go buy a house, buy a car. And the IRS has to figure out where you got the money from. But once you get a house and car, then they can uh, briefcase, the, briefcase the money. But the other thing that uh, Tariq says that disturbs me, and it plays into all the other shit that he's been saying, along with these other coon agents, is he keeps saying we have to replace this system 
of white supremacy and replace it with a system of justice. That's some communist small hat type of shit. The country was founded by Freemasons, so why would they want to destroy it? Except for the small hat takeover of Freemasonry. You replace this system that he calls white, a system of white supremacy. What, he, what he's really saying is take down, what he's really be repeating what his masters told him to say, which is to help take down the United States government because we're supposed to be the downtrodden ones. So we will want to see it taken down. That's what black revolutionaries of the 60s and 70s used to say. We got to take down this system. It's the system. Really, it's not the system. The system is fine. The problem is, is people who don't adhere to the rules of the system. Which a whole, whole lot of people, that's why you got illegal Mexicans all over the place. Or fake driver's license, check wherever you're at. Look at car crashes. I can guarantee you. Hispanic name, because these people get hooked up with driver's licenses. They don't know how to read. They don't know how to speak English. They don't know how to read the signs and shit. They don't know their way around. They don't know how to fucking maneuver through the different weather changes, snow, ice, sleet, heavy duty rains like we just had today. Matter of fact, there's been a whole lot of unusual, unusually heavy traffic in every spot, even places where there's normally light traffic at. It was the other day. I'm driving from around JFK Airport to the North Bronx. Do you realize that shit took me? I mean, I went the toll fee route, but the shit took me three fucking hours. <laughs> I said, damn. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's the thing when you're on Long Island, geographic Long Island, Manhattan, or Staten Island. That's why people better think if there's a goddamn catastrophe, your ass is stuck. Your ass is stuck. So that's why the Bronx <laughs> is in the best position. Because you can you got land attached to the Bronx, so you can just get the hell wherever you gotta get to. But Long Island, Manhattan, any of the islands, Staten Island, you're trapped. I don't like that feeling. I, I really didn't like that feeling. Like, god damn. Stuck in traffic, can't do shit. I mean, part of it, I see the digging, they laid down some new road. And I hope, man, I hope that that wasn't why they split digging in 95 is just to lay down a new road and then they're going to open the shit up again. I hope they're not doing that because that helped to alleviate traffic. So, I really hope they don't do that. <laughs> but you're trapped. Now, unfortunately, that's the geography of the situation. But and today I went to a uh, small town. And the traffic was fucking insane. Filled every fucking street. Every fucking direction. I'm like. This doesn't make any goddamn sense. And then the rain comes down. <laughs> of course, people fucking panic, especially these goddamn Mexicans. And I say that because they're not used to the weather patterns. That's how, That's why. But the white man got him out here. And uh, I, I guess in a few more years, we'll find out. But they take their time with the shit. 
because they got a plan. They got a plan. Unfortunately, we got a lot of Negroes who help the white man in his plan. As long as they get a little bit of money right now, like I said, the small hats, they can give you millions of dollars and give you hundreds of millions of dollars. And how do you think that you're set for life and your family set for life in the future? But they can easily take it back. Legally or illegally. You look at OJ Simpson. His money got tied up with those attorneys. Of course, he, you know, hid some shit away, as rich people always uh, find out how to do. And of course, the system made sure to try to get any penny that he gets. If he didn't have that pension, he'd really be fucked. I think he's out. I think he was driving in a fucking Bentley SUV. Which is kind of funny, kind of like sticking in, sticking it to him, saying, man, you may be trying to take all my fucking money, but see, I'm still rock rocking the Bentley. <laughs> Remember, that's what he had during the uh, <laughs> situation back then. But Tariq Nasheed's talking about taking out the system of white supremacy, which is really saying without saying is the U.S. government, meaning the U.S. Constitution, because the Constitution, as I made clear many times in the past, when you got these other coon agents saying that the government, we got to take out the government, the, the, the we got to rewrite the Constitution. When you rewrite the Constitution, that means you want the country to come to an end. Because that's what the Constitution is. The Constitution is the country. Combine that with trying to take away guns. The spreading of this gay shit. Fake mass shootings. Fake all this other shit. Order out of chaos. Or chaos that they start. Because they want you to bend to their will. Fucking nervous ass Asian. Trying to wipe his car off, man. It's motherfucking raining outside, man. It's a fucking idiot. But anyway, they want you to bend to their fucking will. And they hate the country. And coon agents like Tariq Nashi who operate on money. Again, it's like the informant. As long as you give them cocaine and money, they're good. They don't give a fuck about who's affected, who gets killed, or nothing else. As long as they get what they got to get. Which is short-term pleasure. <laughs> motherfuckers nervous. I mean, these motherfuckers, they see me in the car, man, they... They just can't stop walking away from their car. Make sure it's, uh, make sure it's locked. Make sure it's uh, this and that. Motherfucker, just get your ass in the motherfucking house. God damn. Fucking car is going to be here, motherfucker. God damn. Fucking ass paranoid ass Asians. That comes from the white man with all the propaganda against us. They come here, live it up. Keep reading about wars in China, uh, Taiwan. China having the largest navy and all that kind of shit. But going to war with, uh, possibly going to war with China. But I'm like, man, why is there Chinatown every fucking major white man city? If the Chinese are the fucking enemy. Oh, yeah, matter of fact, that brings me to my main point. And surprise, surprise, Tariq Nasheed is not you. But you are a coon agent. And I know you listen. That's why I uh, make sure I direct it towards you. Fake ass hair. And fake teeth. Because Italians, if you notice, Italians are always uh, in deep 
Italians are always deep in the police force. Helps their organized crime out. That's why organized crime is not quite as radical as it used to be, so to speak. And I keep watching these audit videos. They go from state to state, town to town. One thing I notice is there aren't too many black cops in a lot of these. Well, they're, they're mainly in California doing that. And a lot of people in the South, not too many black cops. And from what I learned, being a chief of police is meaningless. If you're the only black person, you got to have your high command be mostly black. Now, and black people got to understand this, but see, black people, when we do shit, we got to do it for the secret societies. That's not black. Union. Nothing that is in our interest. Italians and Irish, they do it for organized crime. Because once they got control of the cops, then it's easier, especially detectives and officers, then they can easily say, oh, don't worry about Mr. Carmetti. We got that. We, 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 we're on the case with that guy. And of course, they're not. And of course, that's Mr. Giuliano, who's on the case for Mr. Carmetti. <laughs> so they keep shit quiet so they can keep doing their dirt and keep spreading around everywhere and like I always say don't think for a minute that they're not thinking about a new Roman Empire even though like I said most Italians they may not even have anything to do with Rome uh, but when you come from that shit you know that that shit used to rule Europe you want that shit back. Because the Germanic tribes, they were the enemies of Rome, but the Germanic tribes are running the show now. But um, we got to become cops. Not only that, because it, to help control other cops who don't like black people, because that's what I see a lot of times when they do these audits. There's a lot of Hispanic ones trying to act like they're real Americans and shit. Motherfuckers with accents and shit. They, these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about no America. They're just trying to get paid. But whatever the case is, you can see a lot of these white cops come at them like they want to beat their ass. And some of them do get their asses beat. <laughs> you know? But black people can't go around doing all that kind of shit. Some of the Hispanic guy, one Hispanic guy, he looks black anyway. So, man, I, I said my man is brave going to these hillbilly towns. And a uh, whole bunch of lily, lily white areas and shit. And they, they treat his ass accordingly. <laughs> Unfortunately. But they do. And I noticed that the ones with these corrupt police departments. They hardly have any black people in, the, in these city halls. I don't give a fuck if, if it's a suburban town or not. There are no black people in these places. The more urban the area is, of course, you're going to find some black people. But even when they get in, where'd that guy go? He went to New Orleans. Well, I don't even think it was New Orleans. I think it was some parish, whatever the parish was near New Orleans. Or maybe it could have been. I don't know. No, I think it was Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. A lot of black people in there. Got some lofty positions. But. It goes to show. They start acting like white people when they get these positions. Start doing the same shit. So nothing changes. People get comfortable with their jobs, paying pretty good money. 75000 to what? Four, some, he, said, he showed some shit. Some people manipulating the system, getting 700000 Working in the fucking police department. 300,000 is not unusual. <clears throat> Apparently, California cops get paid very well. So that helps your economy out. Helps you ward off 
attacks from the system. And if you want to be a pan-Africanist or a black defender, so to speak, whatever the fuck, I don't know what, what the term is to call these people, but whatever it is, being a cop and having a coalition of police will help to achieve that goal better than being some goddamn ragtag pan-African troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why I use that word is because at the end of the day, this shit ain't doing nothing. That's that's why <laughs> it's just causing trouble. But see, they were really concerned about doing something, become cops, network with each other. That way you get paid and you help out black people. You can get paid. And you can make sure that white people get hemmed up most of the time. But make sure you become officers, though. Officers, commanders, captains, all that kind of shit. You could, it's better to have more captains and commanders that are black than one chief that's white. Or one chief that's black and everybody else is white. Or Italian. Because that's... I mean, every time you turn around, I said Italian everywhere. I, I used to say to myself, I can Italians want to become cops all the fucking time. Then you start thinking about it, where they're at. You're like, okay, yeah, I see. Just like one order that went to some place outside of Chicago. Italian mayor, Italian uh, police chief got arrested just because they wanted to. Italians are corrupt. Don't let them control some shit. They, they they going sick. They think fuck it. We don't have to listen to the what the United States is doing. We we do our own thing. But see, he was out there filming. Some of these guys got to understand when you do that shit. You might have corrupt city officials doing some dirty business, and they might think, oh, somebody, uh, the feds are watching us. Then when they find out you're not the feds, oh, you know what? Let's just arrest this guy. Just because. Let's teach this guy a lesson. But the Fed should have auditors going around. But you got to badge them up. With immunity. And all that kind of shit. So whatever they get caught doing what they're doing on the job. By corrupt people. Cops. All that shit gets thrown out with the quickness. But, you know, people up to dirty business. And you see it's a lot of those small towns and, and suburbs and shit. So we got to become cops. More cops. Even though City Hall is supposed to have power over cops. But I notice cops last longer than a lot of politicians. Than most politicians. And black, cop, uh, black mayors, when they come into power, sometimes it can be difficult to fire city employees. But usually police chiefs, they can easily, they usually replace them with no delay. But rank and file, they seem to be harder to, to, to fire. But me, if I were a mayor and the police chief, assistant chief were Italians and, and Irish, they're out of here. I look at the list of cops and if the high command, they're all Italian and Irish, all of them are retiring. They can complain all they want. If they complain too much, then I know they're up to some funny business. And replace them with black people. Mostly black people. And no fucking Hispanic, nobody else. You worry about black people. Black Americans. Say we need a new direction. The old direction has not worked for years. We need a change. That way you employ your people and it's security because now you have your people who's going to look out for you. Those Italians and, and Irish and small hats, they don't, they're not looking out for you. You know, I told you the, the small hats got all the fucking money. That's why they don't need to become cops because they use the Italians and the Irish. 
and everybody else for that matter. Black people don't look at it like that because they don't have organized crime networks like that. That's clever like that. Our idea of organized crime is credit card fraud and drugs. That's it. Nothing to take control of shit. You don't have, I mean, we've seen the failed uh, Freemason politicians. We already know that they're coon agents and they're not doing anything. When you're cops, you can actually undermine the fucking mayor if the mayor is not clever enough. And that's stuff you can change now. Limit whoever is doing the hiring once you get in control. As long as you trust the person. You can tell them, man, stop hiring Italians and fucking uh, Hispanics. You look at the California, I know it's filled with a lot of Mexicans. But so many of them make up, it seems like the majority of the cops, even though the white man is still in control. And that's pretty good money they're making out there in California. So, you almost have to rely and hope that these Mexican cops are cool. Just like you got to hope that these Italians are cool, but it's 50-50. Some of them are tyrants. Others are cool. The smart ones who are into some organized crime shit know when to be cool. While some other ones, like, oh, fuck it, I got the badge, fuck it, I might as well uh, let you have it. That can open up a whole another can of worms and expose shit that don't need to be exposed. But that's what we need to do. We need to become cops. And get and maneuver into these small towns, too. And don't let the Caribbeans do it because they're on another mission. I notice a lot of people are taking my talking points down to the letter like it like I put out a fucking uh instruction book on certain topics but like I said they keep focusing on the African and not the Caribbean and I like Lewis Luck I noticed my man is inserting the Caribbean shit when they keep trying to focus on the African that's a diversion because the African, they're not doing what the Caribbean is doing to us. Mainly the Jamaican. I've been saying it for years. Years and years. But they don't mention my name. It is what it is. They'll steal your shit, but won't mention your name. <laughs> I'm not the only one they do it to. With a whole lot of shit. That's what. That's how people do. That's how niggas do. Now, again, like I said, we're getting replaced with Mexicans. Asians are sitting pretty. Then you got shit like that Obi Wan Kenobi shit. Disney buys Star Wars. They got the black female. She's looking pretty good. Hot-headed killer of Jedi. And it fits in with this females are powerful like men. Bullshit that they keep uh, putting out there. I guess it's the duality shit. With their secret religion. Which is fucking stupid. Disney. Buying up everything that is directed at your children so that they can pump and brainwash your children. It's up to you to turn them off the Disney shit. <clears throat> like I said before, I was never a fan of Disney to begin with because I thought the shit was boring. I can't think of one Disney movie of their own creation that I liked. I just watched The Lion King. I didn't see that other one, but they keep remaking shit too. That's another thing I can't stand. I didn't see what the big deal was about uh, uh, The Lion King. I still didn't watch the Jurassic Park. I've been downloading movies. I ain't, I ain't download those. I need to do that. 
uh, Lion King. I but boring. Nothing I want to see again. I didn't see that as classic Aladdin. Saw that years ago. Saw some racist shit in there. Again, they made them brown skin, the so-called Arabs, but the black ones are always the slave genie. Disney is racist. A small hat control, the main purveyor of brainwashing your children. And I noticed that usually when they come out with their cartoons... You know, a lot of parents like to take them to see a Disney movie because they think it's a traditional thing. It's funny, my mother never took me to see any Disney movies. And like I said, on TV, the shit used to cost money. The only one, the Daffy Duck Adventures, I think that was the only one that hit mainstream. I think it was called Daffy Duck Adventures. Something tunes or whatever it was. And that one was halfway decent. Because they made it more like conventional cartoons. <laughs> but Snow White. Sleeping Beauty. All that kind of shit. That just never did it for me. Combine that with the singing. You know that the, the, the boring ass songs. That, that That's another turn off. I mean god damn. I just downloaded a Robotech cartoon. <clears throat> I said, I haven't seen that shit in a while. I see that they got a, uh, had a new one. Or newer one. So I said, let me download that in HD just to check it out. Like watching cartoons in HD. I don't have too many, but. You know, it's hard for me to. I don't like this kind of art style I see in these cartoons these days, but. Got to see them in HD. I bought a uh, one in 4K. I might look at it again when I get home, but it's that, I think it's called the, not Akira, the Ghost in the Shell, that's what it was called. It's supposed to be Dolby Vision, but it didn't look all that excessively colorful to me, but got it cheap, so I say I bought that. Now it's a blind buy because I think it was like six bucks or something like that. So I said, fuck it, why not? So, you got that. Star Wars, the Obi-Wan, we didn't need to see that shit. We saw Obi-Wan's story in the prequels, but they keep uh, getting the people who played in George Lucas' Star Wars. So, that you see the shit is legit when you watch their new shit. Because that's what they, they're so-called sequels flopped because they had characters that were basically knockoffs of the original, but nobody gave a fuck about them. So, <clears throat> they did the Boba Fett shit, which was, well, first the uh, Mandalorian, which was supposed to have been a Boba Fett movie, then they, people didn't like the solo movie, so they turned it to a series. Try to get your streaming money. You know, one thing Disney does, they, like get, they know how to extract that money out of your ass. But if you're dumb enough to keep getting it from Disney, then it is what it is. Me, I download the shit. Just make sure you use the VPN or they will get you. But I didn't even finish watching the book of Boba Fett. I got kind of bored with the shit. Started off all right, but I'm like, this is a, some shit I didn't really need to see, to be honest with you. Give a fuck about a gangster Boba Fett. They only had him there because he's the character. Mandalorian. You know that was supposed to have been a Boba Fett knockoff, but then they try to convince you, oh, it's just Mandalorians. Well, he had a Baby Yoda. Oh, that ain't Baby Yoda. That's Mugu, whatever the fuck his name was. It's rehashes. That's the same thing with this Obi-Wan. See, as I'm watching this Obi-Wan, I'm like, yeah, that's the man from the real Star Wars. But did we need to hear this story? Did we need to see the adventures of Princess Leia at 10 years old? Did we really need to see that? They keep putting the 
black females in and any female period in control, just like the Mandalorian, that car, Gina Carcano. I, I wonder what they're going to do with that. That's a weird way to break a series up, though. You go into Boba Fett and then Obi-Wan. Now you're going back to the Mandalorian. And they make them so fast that it's actually fucking up the aura of Star As a matter of fact, it's not fucking up. It already fucked up the aura of Star Wars. The one reason why I was never into Star Trek is because <clears throat> they made so many Star Treks that I could not possibly watch them all. The original, the new gen next generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, or whatever the fuck their shit was called, the latest shit they got. And I, I think some other one they had, uh, with some wild ass, maybe that could be Voyager. And that one with that other female captain. So that's what they did. Try to put the feet, constantly put the females in control. Not that I'm against females, just that keep trying to make them look like they're as strong as men. That's bullshit. Like I say, if you they feel that way, let's have integrated boxing. Men taking on the women. They already see that they already do that by putting the trannies in with women's sports, and people say, "Ah, oh, that's unfair." Well, if you keep thinking that females are physically and mentally equal to men, then you shouldn't complain about that goddamn tranny, even though that's cheating. But hey, if you guys like that lifestyle, then or accept that shit, or accept that these people are females, like Tariq Nasheed does, then uh, I, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. And that's what I said. Tariq Nasheed accepts his homosexuality. That's what his butt break. And I admit I only, I'm only in an hour into the shit, but I was bored like a motherfucker. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like sound bites. It's like it's, it's not like uh, uh, a cohesive watching. But you know that's how hustlers make shit. But um, yeah. So that Obi Wan shit. I only saw the first episode. And I admit, while I hate Disney and I don't like, I know that they only using uh, McGregor and just the real, real UN because if they used another guy, it would have seemed more like a bootleg than it is. But since they used him, now you're like, oh yeah, that's the same guy, same Obi-Wan. And I'm sure Disney must pay a mint of money. You got this white guy for some odd reason he wants to walk his dog near my car while staring at me. These must be some new people. So, yeah, they did a good job at using him, so you're at least thinking. Damn, it seems like it should be authentic, but it's more rehashing. Telling the stories that didn't need to be told. We heard the people talk about the shit in the Star Wars movies. If it was that fucking important to be made in the shows and movies, George Lucas would have done it. Imagine watching a movie or TV show and they tell you every fucking detail of every fucking thing that's happening and every fucking thing that's not happening. Can you imagine that shit? I almost feel like, damn, white people coming out now, somebody, they tell somebody, hey, be careful, there's a Negro in the uh, garage. You know, he's got a nice ride. Fuck, but anyway. He just had to get a fucking extension cord out of his fucking car. <laughs> These people are funny. These people are funny. It's weird, man. It's weird that there's so many mulattoes walking around. But yet, 
white people act funny like this. Maybe they, I guess they figure once they locked on to the white person or the black person that they're down with, they're cool with that black person, but not everybody else though. But anyway, it's crazy. Yeah, but fuck that Star Wars. Now let me talk about Marion Barber. This is weird, man. You got a lot of black uh, football players, athletes, and shit just dying. Weird and unusual deaths. They said that. Uh, damn, I forget my man's name. From the uh, Steelers in, in Washington, Haskins. They said he was drunk and high and didn't know what he's doing and ran got ran into a dump truck. Uh, a dump dump truck ran into him. You get hit by a dump truck. I don't even want to see. The pictures, to be honest with you. If we've been on enough uh, particular sites, I'm, I'm sure we can figure out how it looked. And it still seemed weird. Miss Marion Barber, as of now, I don't know what the details are. But I'm like, then that's a guy, that's a guy with a name. I keep telling you, combine that with the NBA. And even the NFL, or how they keep trying to do what they can to get black Americans out of these sports because we're the best at every damn thing and we created so much that the best thing that they can do, if you can't beat them, kill them. That seems to be, that's the, how they usually handle situations. We can't be beaten. So kill them. That's why I keep telling black people you got to get off the weed and other drugs and get education. Once you are more enlightened, not ghetto education with this Freemason bullshit and this Moorish bullshit, all that shit is going to do is hold you back. Because that teaches you about mysticism Fantasy and other craziness. You keep doing that while other people are getting formally educated on the sciences and shit. And they build. You look at Japan and China. Do you think that the white man would respect them if they weren't building, able to build military shit, computer shit, and a whole bunch of other shit? I was just looking through some cars as if I get an SUV next time. I was like, damn, what kind should I get? I hate, I don't want to buy German because it's a white man car. So I prefer Asian cars. Black people don't have that kind of discipline. I'll tell you that. They like the white man shit. But I kept looking. And then I said, you know, I got a startling revelation hit me. I said the white man in the United States promotes the best automobiles. Matter of fact, they're automobile companies that the United States helped to resurrect and even build with the Marshall Plan. German automobiles, Japanese automobiles, and Korean automobiles. These countries have something in common. They went to war with the United States. And they, were, they wanted to destroy the United States, especially Japan and German, Germany. Japan actually attacked the United States. But right after the war is over, the United States helped to build up Germany and Japan and redirect their war machine to consumer products. And now if you want a high level car, you have to have German automobiles, German engineering, as they call it. The Audi, which I'm looking at quite a few here now, the Audi, the Ben, the, 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 the BMW, 
You see those all over the places. But uh, matter of fact, I was on the freeway today. It never fails whenever I see a luxury car inoperable on the road, on the side of the road. It's always a BMW. Even though they, their looks are looking nicer. Because of that alone, I think I, I, I'll i never touch a BMW. Because they seem, uh, the shit seems to break down. Then the Japanese, you got the Lexus. That's the white people's uh, particular uh, favorite. Got the Acura. And to a lesser degree, you got the uh, Infinity, which a lot of people like. Not crazy about the Infinity designs, even though the newer ones look all right. But still like the old ones. Uh, then, of course, you got the Korean automobiles. And you got a swirler here. Black woman with a white dude. If you looked at that black woman, you'd be like, nah, she wouldn't be with a white dude. Dusty white dude on top of that. See, that's another thing. They, they copy our ways. The white women come to us. They're like, fuck it. I'll get some black meat. Because they got to act black in order to get a white woman these days. <laughs> uh... I'll be honest with you. I personally don't want to touch a black woman that's been with a white guy. And if you have been, just don't tell me. Because I remember I tried one time. She had a kid with a white dude. And we were trying to set it off. But in the back of my mind, I kept thinking to myself, I know from my experiences, females like these, they're not really down with the black man. They just, right now, I guess they're settling. For the black man. Because. The white man let him down. You want the baby with the white man. Why would you. Make me think that now all of a sudden. You want the baby with the black man. I don't think so. Excuse me. So, so that's a wild, some wild shit on that, man. But um, I don't even want to get back into that because that, that shit is crazy. But I noticed we got a um, getting distracted here. <laughs> got to get our shit together because if we don't, we're gonna be in a world of trouble. We already are, but if you haven't noticed, no matter how great we get, if we didn't have the special abilities that we had, we would have been cast aside a long time ago. As you can see, Mexicans are only good for working and obeying the white man. They don't have special talents. Hispanics in general, like I made a video on that. They can only excel off of our backs. That's the same thing with the Caribbean in general. They got to use us and our image and persona to get where they got to go. And once they get there, they're like, okay, I'm free. I, now I can do what I really want to do and please the white man. Be white. You see J Lo always doing something for the white man and white uh, appeal. Then when the shit doesn't work out, go with the black man again. But she's getting too old to keep playing that game. Big ass can only go but so far. Once you turn, I don't know how old she is now, fifty three or some shit like that. But once you turn sixty. 65 is Kim, Car Kim Kardashian they're gonna keep hoeing then again they just they just might because there have been a lot of celebrity uh vixens and hoes out here who never stop this black girl got 
dusty white man. He looks older too. Damn. She must be with him either for some. I don't know if these, these motherfuckers look really out of place here. I'm gonna be honest with you. Could be some drugs or. She just feels that whiteness is just that appealing. There are a lot of people like that. Like I tell you, man, we we uh, all had that dream when we were kids. I wish I were white, no matter how light we were. Because in our minds, we see that they apparently have an easy life or easier life than us. So you're like, damn, if I was just white, then, you know, we wouldn't have to be starving, living in the ghetto and all that kind of shit. That's why I say become cops. That will help. Not only matter of fact, not only, like I said before, to help hook your people up with good pay and benefits, you get power from becoming a cop and being cops in the high command. You can help control. I hate that some people might take this the wrong way, but you can help control Italian and Irish organized crime. And take some of this shit and work with some other black uh, criminals and take some of this shit. I'm talking about the black criminals, how the black criminals take the organized crime shit. Get them together. Build that shit up because you need the criminal element. It's just our criminal element that is so fucking out of order that it does a disservice to us. So. You got to be smart. If you're smart about things. See, that's how you get better with your people, because that's what they did. They got smart. And that's why they're rich. We're not smart. We need to. See them walking now. Well, that's that white guy I've seen before. Dark skinned black woman, of course. Uh, like I told you, man, it's the dark skinned ones that go with the that do the swirling. It's hardly the light ones. And most of the mixed males they end up going with uh, white women. And probably about seventy five percent of the mixed females end up going with a black guy. <laughs> That's the way it is. But if they were uh, raised in a white area, like I saw some kid getting off the school bus, she looked like she was mixed because of that hair and the skin tone, and she was skinny as fuck. I said, they just let the hair run wild and shit. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy, but uh, we got to do those things. Do it in your community, become cops. Uh, I know a lot of people might have criminal records, so that's probably why they can't. But you got to do that. When we get into certain positions, we play the goody two shoes. I'm following the rules, except for black people. When black people come to me, fuck them. But when massa come to me, I got to make sure I'm doing the job right. See, when you're a cop, you can control files and evidence. And I'm not trying to say be corrupt, but shit, that's what these other people are. These Italians and these Irish. You think they want to become cops just because they like policing? No, it helps them to look the other fucking way on their criminal enterprises. I got a complaint. Where's the complaint? You got the complaint number? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't see one here. All that kind of shit. I want a police report on this. I got some suspicious activity going on at this uh, 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 Italian restaurant. Send some cops over to check it out. Okay, no problem. I'm sending uh, Officer Beretta and Dorello. They go over there, order a pizza, and leave. They know what's going on. Then you send black cops. They're not in the high command in a lot of these police departments. Except for maybe a police chief here, lieutenant there. They go over, they're too fucking scared because they're like, fuck it, man. I, I've been told not to touch this, so fuck it. 
But see, if most of your black cops are in the high command, even if they're not the chief, if, if they outnumber the fucking chief, then God damn it, they can do what the fuck they want to do. I keep telling people when that JFK thing happened, the chief was out gunned and out overruled by his staff because they were involved in the setup, but he was oblivious to the shit. That's how you do it. The chief is not always the one in control. Just like JFK, he was the fucking president. He got overruled by people who looked to get rid of his ass. Anyway, man, I think I said enough is getting hot in this motherfucker anyway. So, you gotta become police. You gotta be smart. Because if we don't take command on the East Coast, Midwest, South, I can guarantee you there are gonna be more Mexican and other foreign cops. The longer they stay, the higher they rise. That means when it's time for the government and the powers that be who want to get busy on us to do it, you got black people in place to say, nah. But when there's no black people in place to say, nah, you got other people who are like, yeah, let's do it. We can get rid of these black people and then we can scoop up the crumbs. Be aware, be smart. If you're not going to be aware and be smart, you're going to perish. And you got to stop listening to coons like Tariq Nasheed and these other ghetto hood coons. I'm out.